Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I can't wait to check out this knife with you guys and gals. I just got back for vacation, and this was waiting on me. Oh my goodness, are you ready? Pa pow Look at it! Would you look at it? Just look at it! It's the new Vosti Thunderbird. <laughs> oh yeah! Channel colors, black and red, g -mascus. is that not so sweet? Look at that. And texture vision, uh, there's no texture. It's it's slickery material. We'll see how the ergos are and see how it locks in the hand here in just a minute. And check this out. Reversible, eh, deepish carry. You still have a little bit sticking out, but it's a wire clip. Feels like a strong clip. I'll check that out in my pocket here in just a minute. It is reversible. That is awesome sauce. And check this out. A copper backspacer, and you don't have a hole going through to take away from your aesthetics, and you can put a lanyard right back there. That is very nice, very very nice. Ooh, it's a button lock. You're gonna be able to able able to you're gonna be able to open <laughs> at least one, two, three, four different ways, as far as I can tell. This is going to be a sweet knife. You ready to see the blade? Well, I am too. So let's do it. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that meanness. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dual grind. It's kind of kind of a, uh, what do you call that, a tanto, a tanto blade. But it doesn't have much of a point. You know, I imagine if you sharpen this, it probably, that point would go away. But you're going to have, and it says it's a hollow grind. It uh, doesn't feel like it. I'll double check that here in just a second. But you can see it's going to be stronger up here for doing your work. And then thinner back here behind the edge than it is over here. Full length fuller going all the way down that beautiful blade. Oh, this is a gorgeous one. This is a U design. I love his designs. And if you if you don't follow the channel, then you <laughs> you don't know. But if you know, you know I love the designs made by you or Dr. EDC on Instagram. Check out the stuff you get with this. It comes with the nice case, the nice vinyl case. It comes with the uh, kind of like born on date card. There you go, Thunderbird S35VN for your blade steel. Almost a three and a half inch blade. That's what I'm talking about. It says a compound harpoon. <laughs> Are we getting a little poon action? And check this out. For all of you that love the, uh, what do you call those? The, uh, the sticky thing. <laughs> my God. Back from vacation and I forgot my words. A, a patch. It has a really nice Thunderbird patch. Came with a couple stickers for all you sticker lovers. And I know we all love our stickers to put on our toolboxes and stuff. And it comes in a very nice tin. And one more thing that came in the box. You get this support card. Check that out. 120 day full money back guarantee. It's guaranteed in the return and replace services. That's pretty cool. Now this comes in two color variations. You can get this red and black in the g mascus or you can also get the green, the really dark green. I mean, it's a dark green, almost black, but you can still tell it's green. The dark green and black g mascus and this one has the copper backspacer. The dark green one has a bronze backspacer. And another difference about between this one and the green one is the green one, this one has a satin finish, the green one has a stone wash finish. So let's check this out from one end to the other. Look at that nice fuller. It feels a little, little uh, soft and we'll see if we're able to, with a finger, <laughs> we'll see if we're able to reverse flick with that bad boy and jimping. Ooh, okay. So the jimping is grabby. I'm not sure how that's going to help with, uh, with holding it in the hand for the ergos, but I bet it's going to help with flipping. And there's a look at your button. This is a button lock. It has nice texture. Grabs your finger. Your finger's not going to slip off of that. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I do like their pivot. And check that out. Boss Deed. And there's their logo. I like it. If they're going to have a logo and stuff, put it up here. It doesn't take away from the aesthetics of the knife. I really appreciate that. And going all the way down, look at that beautiness. And oh my goodness. They got a T8. T8, one screw on this side you're going to have to take out. And then on this side, same thing, a T8 and then a T6. I'm not sure if we'll have to take this out to take it apart. We'll find out here in just a minute. And there you go. The, can we find it? The Thunderbird. And yes, check out the blade steel. I told you earlier, S35VN, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And let's see how it does in and out of the pocket. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gliding in and out of the pocket. No problem. Right now, I'm wearing khakis, but I'm sure I'll do my little clip of it in the jeans. It doesn't have a bunch of stuff to grab. You see that the screw right there is nice and rounded, so my pocket just glides right over that. Nice and strong, and I really like the fact this is an ambidextrous knife. And let's see if it'll cut a piece of paper. Ooh, yeah. Nice edge. Nice and clean. I'm not feeling any hang-ups. 
It is gliding through the paper. As far as the finish, it, the finish is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. And it is rock solid left and right. No movement up and down, left to right. Um, you're not going to be able to see the lockup because it's internal. We're going to check that out because we're going to take it apart here in just a minute. Are we centered? Yes, it is centered. Now, this is a brand new knife to the market, and the pre-orders are up right now. By the way, I'm going to tell you how to save 10 bucks off of this knife here in just a second. But first, I'm going to give you an idea of the size of this knife because, well, no one's had one of these yet. No, one, no one's got the opportunity to have it. So this will give you an idea of what size you're looking with. Looking with, looking at, using with. <laughs> here's the Spyderco Tenacious, and here's the QSP Penguin. You got to get yourself a penguin. And how about the Kubi Carve? I wanted to put another Tanto, Tanto up there. There's the Carve. And here's the CJRB Feldspa. It's the Feldspa. So see there, it's a nice, regular, regular, everyday carry size knife. This is going to be a great one in the pocket. It all, I can already tell you that it has a low profile. It's not going to take up a lot of real estate in your pocket. Here is the Kaiser Cormorant by the same designer and the Civivi Brazen. Another two of my favorites. And yes, I do have a lot of favorites. And how about this one? The very sleek Petrified Fish Zero. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very pointy. <laughs> and one, one more, last but not least, here is the Kaiser uh, bag lighter with a Tanto blade. Now this gives you, I wanted to show this, well there's those two next to each other. Um, I wanted to give you an idea of the difference between this Tanto and this one. I'm not sure, I know one thing, this is kind of a drop point mixed with a Tanto. I really like it. It kind of has belly, almost doesn't have a point at all, but this gives you a, an idea. This one has a very defined point and it also has the dual grind. And this one, um, I can I could feel a little bit of a hollow grind, but not much. I'm thinking that that's something they can't do a lot of. Now, I told you I would check it. I just remembered, so let's check. The card and the info says that it's a hollow grind. I can't really tell by feeling, but there's one way that I always check, and that is, let me zoom out. That's There we go. And let's double check. Well, you know what? If you look, there is the slightest bit, but boy, it is very, very slight. But technically, it is a hollow grind. <laughs> so let's check out the action in the Ergo. Speaking of action, don't forget to take action and hit that subscribe button. If you, for some reason, have not subscribed yet and just found the channel, you are going to love being with the Bees Blaze community and discovering the knife community if you're not familiar with it already. But let's go. You ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. So that is easy. And the button, oh yeah. Very smooth. It's tactile. Very easy to operate. Yeah, that back flipper and the jipping, yes, the jipping works wonderfully. It's perfect. Diggy, 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 diggy. It's the kind that, and they have it going all the way around the corner. Would you look at it? Just look at it. <laughs> so it's very grabby. It's not the kind your finger's going to slip off of. It's very intuitive. And can I, yes, you can, you can uh, do a, a thumb flick like this, like flick your bick and the front flip. Very easy to do. It has that jimping. Look at that. Beautiful jimping. It grabs very well. Comes flying out. Now, how about reverse flip? Oh, yeah. Like a dream. Like a dream. Super easy. Now, can I use this fuller down here? Yes, I can. I was wondering, this fuller doesn't have a lot of grip to it, but you can easily reverse flick it. Very nice. Can I reverse flick it left-handed? Yes. So this is an ambidextrous knife. That is nice. I love it when I can tell people, yes, it's lefty friendly and it's a button lock. And I really like that. That copper, that adds a lot to it. And let's see. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Ergos. <laughs> My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and seven and a quarter from here to here. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, pretty comfy. Give it the old B squeeze. I'm not feeling any hot spots. I can feel the clip, but it is not hurting. It's not digging. It's definitely not a hot spot. I can just tell it's there saying, hey, what's going on? <laughs> um, oh, okay. All right. So in the traditional grip, right where your hand just wants to go is up here on this. I guess you could call that a poon. And it's a nice thumb ramp. Now, the jimping, while the jimping does work well for uh, flipping, it doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose for me purposefully, purposefully, <laughs> personally, because it doesn't grab my thumb, but my hand is locked well into place. It is keeping my hand and I'm feeling a little bit of that, that uh, pocket clip when I'm, when I'm holding it down in this position, but look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. 
<laughs> yes, that is comfortable. Nice, big, forward choil. Look at all that. You have real estate for chunky fingers up here, no problem. So you're going to be able to do all of your cuts. And yeah, I mean, I think, you know, not necessarily a utility cutter because that point isn't really that prominent. It's almost not there where the this grind meets this grind. But boy, I do love the option of being able to scrape, do some heavier stuff with the front, some piercing. It's definitely going to be good for piercing. You know, a little, what's your draw? Reverse grip, absolutely comfortable. No problems with that. And something I am noticing, check this out. So they took the edges off. They chamfered the edges very well. So even though it's this uh, straightforward hard G10, the edges are not sharp. They're not digging into my hand when I'm holding on to it. It's very nice. It's, it's like it's just like being contoured when they... I'm trying to give you a good view here. How they cut the edges off all the way around. That is very nice. So the action is superb. I like I like it. It's easy to use. You can use the button to open it. Reverse flick. There are so many ways. Whatever your preference is for opening the knife, you're going to be good to go. Very nice. Very comfortable. You know what? Let's take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, we're at the operating table. And uh, obviously, you can't go from this side, which means, yes, it has a D-shaped pivot. I would expect nothing less. Bastide makes some good knives. That wasn't too tight. Not too shabby. And there is... Uh, they don't have any Loctite on there. So that's that's going to be a preference for you, whether it loosens or not. And I'm curious if... Man, that is so nice. Two screws, and I feel it popping apart. Are we? Yes. We don't have to take the pocket clip off. That is a major, major plus. So here's the inside. You can see it has the recess, the inset liners. They're all milled out for weight reduction, which is very nice. Very, very nice. And will put that bad boy up here and take a look at what she looks like. So here's your spring. You know what? I didn't even think about it. I'm so glad that this doesn't have one of those springs that takes off on you but the spring was setting right there inside of the button. So that's going to be an easy, that should be, oh boy, I shouldn't have said that. That should be an easy reassembly, no problem. So there's the internals of it. It has an internal stop pin. This is what it looks like. If I get it to uh, get it to focus, my focus needs more focus, but this is what it looks like when it goes around. Stop pin hits right there, and it hits right there. And you can see how these are graduated down Makes it really nice and smooth and easy to use. Boy, this thing is clean. Wow, it is clean. There's really not much cleaning. I, I don't need to even clean this. There's there's nothing to be cleaned. I, I mean, it is. There's just a couple little pieces of some stuff in there. And you know what? Um, real quick, I will wipe it off just because I already have my alcohol on my little rag here. I'm just going to wipe it off and clean it. That way, if for some reason you haven't seen one of my disassembly videos, this will give you an idea of what we do. So, there's the inside of, look at that, D-shaped pivot, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So, we'll just give this a queen, a queen, <laughs> a quick cleaning. <laughs> oh, man. Back from vacation and I'm making up words already. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Uh, you know, being back from vacation doesn't make it as fantastic but you know what is really cool and yes i use the word fantastic a lot i know i know but what is really cool is i'm back with my knife family and my real family and here's a look at the ceramic ball bearings nice and clean love my ball bearings i'm just getting them cleaned off and there was no gunk or schmutz or anything to clean off of this knife so that was super easy this was more of just going through the motions as far as uh, showing you you just clean off all the schmutz is, is that a, I know that's a really word. <laughs> that is a real word. Um, give me a D-shaped D pivot. Um, when I match this pivot up and put it back together, the D-shape, the big D, is facing downward. So I want to make sure I've kind of got it facing that way. I'm just got to get a little bit of KPL knife pivot lube. You got to get you some of this stuff if you don't have some. By the way, I have 10% discount codes to so many places, I don't have enough time to mention. Go to the description, the extended script description of the video where it says show more, uh, something like that. There's a little V over to your right. If you're on your phone, you hit that and you hit show more and you can see all of my links to every knife that I put in the video, my discount codes to, I don't know, a dozen or more places. It makes it a lot easier. You can just go check them out for yourself. But I'm just putting a little looby doob around all of this stuff, a little KPL action. And let's see. Let me put my uh, okay. So I'm putting these facing outwards. That's the way. That's the way it uh, came, as far as I remember. 
If I'm wrong, believe me, you guys will correct me. That's for sure. But I don't, I don't overdo the KPO. So let's see. Getting this back together, looking through the cracks of the uh, camera. So here's our backspacer, which is really cool. Copper. Love the copper. Wait a minute. It's a copper. <laughs> um, Friday nights. Bees Blades, live at the Hive. All right. Make sure you don't miss the Hive stream every Friday night. We have so much fun. And if you're a Bees Blader, you already know this. Where'd my little cleaning stick go? It must have rolled off the table. That's all right. I have more. Not a problem. And, and I have links to these little, uh, little doodads, I call them. And I'm just going to put a little around here. Don't, need, don't even need that much. A little dabble, do ya? The Friday nights, Bees Blades, live at the Hive. You don't want to miss it. We have so much freaking fun. And this is going together very nicely. Very, very nicely. And let's see. Everything's clicking into place. Looking pretty good. Let me make sure I've got that face in the right direction. Put this dude on there. Put a little looby doob on those bearings. And so now, this is the question. Is this going to be easy or is it going to be difficult? And hopefully I've got it uh, out of the glare enough where you all can see. Here's the spring. I'm going to set the spring right inside the button. There we go. And I got to say, as far as for such a complicated knife, it is, it's simple in its complexity. Does that make any, any sense whatsoever? So let's set, see if this dude is going to set down where it's supposed to go. Okay, I felt it click in. Ooh, ooh, you hear all that clicking? I like hearing that. Oh, yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. But yes, I, I am so happy. It was, it was fun doing the live stream. From the vacation spot, vacation of a lifetime, I'm sure. But hey, you know, maybe not. Maybe I'll get lucky, and it won't be. But look at this. Two screws, and they're both TH. You don't even need a T6 to take this thing apart. That is freaking awesome. And in in good time, we're back together. The question is, does it work? Oh, yes. We are back together. It is already, it's, it tightens down to like the perfect spot. It's already tight. There's no play up or down. Are we centered? Yeah, we're centered. Let's go to the big screen. So, the Vosti Thunderbird. Some thoughts on it. Um, One thing that I almost forgot to tell you. If they really want people to join, their, if you're on Facebook, go and join the, the Vosti group on Facebook. They give some major discounts. That's where I found out about the $10 off with code Thunderbird10. So, if you watch to this point right now, you can get $10 off of this bad boy. But what do I think about it? Um, I love it. It has multiple, uh, multiple options. You can deploy it any way you like. It's very comfortable. The button is very intuitive, very easy to use. Um, when I'm holding it like this, the button is out of the way, and I cannot push it wherever my thumb is. And if I'm up here, my thumb, it's not even, it's completely, it's its hidden. You're not going to hit the button accidentally, at least not that I can tell. You would have to really try to hit that button to release it um, when you don't want to. So very good lockup. Very smooth. I like it. I think it's worth it. Um, it's they go for like 129, but you can get it for 119, obviously with that that discount code. But I'm really curious. Tell me what you think. What do you guys and gals think about it? You like it? You think it's cool? You like this one or the other version? Or if you don't like it, tell me what you had for breakfast. I haven't talked to you guys in forever. But go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the chats or the live streams or the hive stream, remember live life in the present. Keep a band aid handy and don't cut yourself.